I am Shamsuddin uh, from HPRC. Today is the exhibition match and this gentleman is a 15 year old uh, guy who is uh, you know, uh, in the team. There is a three players involved in the Arena Polo Cup and uh, I will take to him, uh, what's your name? Ayush. Ayush, uh, how old are you? 15. We are playing, playing an exhibition match against other members. How many chuckers in this game? I'll be playing one chucker, the game's out of two chuckers, but I'm playing number two. Only one chucker you're playing, and then later on, you after chucker, you will be mo moved to, the, somebody will be coming in place of you. Playing today for the match against the Spain, the three chuckers, but he is playing only one chucker. That's an open goal opportunity for team Inhabit. Ratshaker ready. A powerful shot in Wayne goes very wide, comes back on the rebound, hitting the back wall. So that's a lovely pickup shot from Naresh, who's advancing nicely. The ball going in the direction. That's lovely snatch back from Rajik already, who stops at the ball, makes a haul, taps, keeps it with him, taps, keeps it with him. Will be tested here by Naresh. A lovely near side pole handa. Excellent pickup shot from Naresh. All riding this time. Raj still keeps it with him. Checks his hair, stops and turns. That's Akash ready. Trying to get the ball back from Raj. Naresh trying to get the right to right hand snatch. Amjad tried. His hand trying to score from the spot, a backhander from Naresh and another goal. So that's Ayush. Lovely loft to drive, but none of the blacks to take that promotion. That was a lovely, beautifully timed shot. Setting the far side corner of Donina. Now, Naresh on his favorite mount, tapping, tapping, keeps it with him. Naresh on the run, advancing nicely towards the goal mark. Naresh taps, 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 and Naresh. Pots another one for Radha TMT. The third for them and they are in lead for the first time in this first chakra. Who gets behind another lovely snatch back. Naresh has done that so successfully. Naresh exerting good pressure on the blacks here. Naresh checks, gets behind. Being hooked there by Raj. Kranti smartly staying behind, plays the next shot. That's Raj Shekhar ready, making that save, taking the ball to the far side. Checks his horse, gets behind, takes another tap, stops, watches his forward, promotes that brilliantly. Ayush on the run, but before him, it is Naresh who will get there. Naresh with another lovely deep neck shot, riding hard. Ayush is there with him in the horse race. Naresh on the run, on the run with the ball. Naresh advancing again towards the goal mark, who oh, riding this time, slightly off balance, but somehow managed to get back in the side in a near side flick shot from Raj Shekhar Reddy. It is Amjad who should get there first and play the backhand. Amjad, no, doesn't get the shot right. Raj Shekhar ready in a nice forward position. Punches that too and scores a brilliant third goal for team in habit. It is Chaya who will get there first. Chaya being hustled there by Nitin Reddy who plays a nice neck shot. A backhander from Kranti. Ball comes back on the rebound, hitting the back wall. Chaya with another backhander. Quick to turn, get there first. Is Raj who looks in a good position to score that goal. Ball goes wide. Amja trying to get ahead of Raj. Raj snatches that ball back. The ball is still in the melee. Raj, Nitin Reddy with another powerful backhander. Ball coming back, hitting one of the ponies. The ball is still in the melee. Chaya with another backhander. Ball comes back on the rebound, hitting the back wall. Chaya keeps it with her. Keeps it with her. Has the advantage of the ball. Chaya. Chaya it is. And a whistle. And a whistle. That's goal given. Team in habit. Scoring their fifth goal. And that's a lovely knock in from Amjad. Raj getting their head. Oh, missing that completely from the near side. Kanti also riding. That's Nitin Reddy who makes a U-turn on the ball. Nitin Reddy. 
being hustled there by Kranti. Nitin, beg your pardon, that is Chaya. Nitin snatching that back from Chaya. Lovely near side pickup shot from Raj. A brilliant promotion from the near side, and that's a brilliant, brilliant goal. Is that a two goal? The Empire says that is two goals again. I'm just a little slow to react, and Chaya is in a nice forward position to score, and Chaya scores the ninth for Team Midhaven. You miss, I hit, is what exactly happened here. So that is the first bell, ladies and gentlemen. A few more seconds to go, and it is Team Inhabit in the lead with five goals. Raj still not giving up. He wants to score as many as he can. Slightly overrides this time. Nitin Reddy also does. A backhander from Chaya. And uh, that is Kranti. That is Raj. And Raj finishes scoring the ninth for team Inhabit. Brilliantly done. And that is the end of the second chakra. Also the, the end of this exhibition game that was played between team Inhabit in the black jerseys and team Radha TMT in, in the red jerseys. The final scores, team Inhabit scoring 10. Ed Armstrong is the uh, main man uh, from the uh, United States Polo uh, Association. United States Polo Association. Uh, Mr. Armstrong tell about uh, he, himself, and then uh, he'll t talk about why the uh, you know why he's supporting to the uh, India Polo uh, Association and um, the Chaitanya Kumar. Okay. He's the man. He's the right. man and the subject for that uh, talking about uh, okay. president. Okay. Yeah. So, so as he said, I'm with the U.S. Polo Association in that I organize the teams and bring them to play in tournaments in various places around the world. And India is, is probably my main uh, destination these days. This is the third time I've been here to HPRC and the improvements just keep coming every time we're here. Chaitanya has done a wonderful job and he continues to do wonderful things. And we, this time we brought an umpire who is helpful with teaching all the players the rules and keeps the game going. And it's just been a very positive uh, experience. Mr. Armstrong, uh, how many times you, uh, you, was, uh, you were in India? The last time I saw you retain India and the uh, United States too. Whenever he comes, he comes along with the uh, you know, uh, US team. Right. And uh, the last time the English people, English Britain have won the championship. Right. How about, uh, what is the future of the Indian uh, polo, uh, arena polo? Well, it's very strong here at HPRC and I'm hoping that these events and the publicity we get for these events will help all of the Indian polo clubs develop arena programs because it's a great way to grow the sport. It works for us in the U.S. and in other countries, so we really hope that that will catch on in India, so we'll have competition all around the country. So, and I, I'm I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Adam Strong. He's the USPA uh, main man, and uh, he will be. Uh, I'm I'm going to ask him if there's any possibility to betting for the World Cup this time. Uh, th they haven't decided when they're going to do it, but. There's an application process, and I'm, I'll, I'm sure between uh, Mr. Kumar and myself, we'll find out what the criteria is, and if not this time, we'll work towards next time. But that's a goal. That's a that's a dream and a goal of uh, Chichanya's, and we'll do anything we can to help him see his dream. And uh, let me ask uh, the last and final questions. Uh, How is the facility here, HPRC? This is the world most uh, popular area to mm -hmm. play um, um, uh, arena pool. Yeah, no, it's fabulous. These and all my players are very happy with the horses, with the conditions of the arena, the lighting. So we're very glad to be here. Shevit Rotman, uh, he's from United States. He come here. He's a fitness trainer. I will ask him. How about the fitness uh, for this, uh, you know, the, uh, the players come here right now. 
and uh, what are the fitness uh, criteria you are applying for uh, polo people? A lot of people tend to overlook, to miss the fact that polo is a very demanding sport. Riding a horse while hitting a ball takes so much of your core to be involved and hip work, a lot of hip work. What we try to do with the polo people of the United States primarily, uh, we try them warm, to warm them up properly before games. We try to make sure that the supine, supine, like the spine of the back is very flexible and is able to move left and right. It's very important to get this warmed up properly, as well as a lot of hip and knees rotation because sitting on a saddle and being able to hold out with your knees is extremely important to prevent injuries and being able to perform in polo. Yeah, uh, the last match uh, we were there, the Sloan, uh, your player was fell down. What is the, what is the reason he just fell down uh, for uh, any reason to be said? Yeah, great question. So I spoke with the player after the game and after some analysis of the incident, we have found out that it has nothing to do, I mean, at least we hope, with any physical characteristic or wrong posture. It was more fitting with the saddle and, and with the horse stuff itself. But it's very important as well to be able to take proper treatment of such a potential injury after a game. How many years they can play till? You know, like uh, the lady in Indian uh, player, Monica, was playing at the age of 50. It's just too long. But what is the age criteria for the, uh, to play the matured uh, polo, arena polo? My, my belief is, is that with proper warm-ups, proper tone down and good calm downs after the games, being able to use the icing and the padding and the stretching and the mobility and all the things around the polo game, I don't think there's an age limit. I think you can play in your mid-60s as well and I think we should put it to test. I think, being, I think playing polo very rough, rough body, your body is very involved in the game. When you take a whole week of games, it's very, it's very tiresome. It's very fatiguing for the body and a lot of people forget to use their mind how to calm their posture and they just go with the flow. So great question. I think I think the mind wasn't extremely focused on keeping postures. Yes. The teams are ready, HPRC India 2 versus USA 2, the second semi-final of HPRC International Arena Polo Championship. Play is about to get underway and Mr. C.V. Anand, the Director General Anti-Corruption Bureau Telangana State is going to throw in the ball to commence play. There we have it, the ball is in play. Don Cox gets it. Yusuf Asmi and it is Elizabeth. Dr. Elizabeth Peck gets the first strike for the US team and the second one just overriding it's Caroline Vissers on the ball now Caroline a backhander struck by Yusuf almost scoring with that backhander this is Shehbaz Shehbaz right in front of the goal and play call Elizabeth strikes it's a lovely pass by Elizabeth to Dawn Dawn wearing number one for the US team a backhander struck by Yusuf and Shehbaz turns around the ball still with Dawn. Dawn has a chance there. Dawn strikes. It's a good looking shot, but it's gone across the center line toward the far side. Caroline Vissers. Kaushik Kumar. And a backhander from Yusuf. Oh, a whistle. Let's go back onto the field. There's a penalty being taken by Caroline Vissers for the US team from the 25 yard mark. This time, the ball going wide to the left side. How surprising is this, huh? Men and women cannot play and compete together in chess not even in golf but when it comes to horses everybody is just a human being oh that is a goal for the US team the scoreboard now reads two goals for the US2 team this is Don Cox who picks up the ball and the ball is going towards the goal mouth but slightly wide to the right side it's Kaushik Kumar Kaushik has picked it up Kaushik playing a horse called Alexa and I tell you what, this horse is such a phenomenal horse. If you get the opportunity, please go over and meet this special horse, Alexa. And Kaushik picks up. Oh, he misses out. And it is 
Dawn with a backhander, unfortunately missing out by a few inches. A backhander struck by Caroline. Once again, the ball taking a deflection going wide. It's been picked up by Shabazz now. Caroline Vissers once again trying to turn play with a backhander. Another one by Elizabeth. And it is finally Dawn Cox who scores goal number three for the US team. Play call. Kaushik Kumar picks up the ball. It is Kaushik now in attack. He taps the ball. It misses just by a few inches. Shabazz is there. Shabazz strikes. It's been intercepted by Elizabeth. Elizabeth with a beautiful clearance on the near side. Elizabeth being marked by Yusuf Hazmi. It is Yusuf. Yusuf with the backhander. Turns play. It's Dawn Cox. Dawn hooked there by Shabazz. It is still Dawn. It is Elizabeth on the ball. Elizabeth clears. She's Players have to really work hard to stay steady in the saddle. It is Dawn Cox who picks up the ball now for the US team. It is Dawn hooked there by Shabazz. Elizabeth strikes. It's a nice looking strike. She's taken the ball away. And look at that. She's taken the ball toward the far side. The ball takes a bounce within striking distance. Lovely work in defense there by Shabazz. Shabazz saves the moment. Caroline Vissers now turning around. Kaushik Kumar. No, oh, just missing out on contact there. And Dawn Cox with a chance. Dawn. Dawn strikes, but the player is not in position to take advantage of that one. It is Kaushik on the ball now. Kaushik strikes once again, waiting for a bounce off. Kaushik being marked by Elizabeth Peck. It's Kaushik Kumar with a lovely strike. He's taken the ball to the striking zone. Yusuf is there. Yusuf strikes, and there it is. Goal number six. Half a dozen on the board for the Indian team. A chance goes missing for the US team. The ball has now been picked up by Kaushik Kumar. Kaushik. Kaushik riding Alexa, being marked by Caroline Wissers. It's Kaushik who takes a nice near side shot. Shabazz, Shabazz attacking, but Dawn is there. Dawn being marked now by Yusuf. It's Dawn. Dawn picks up the ball, but Kaushik Kumar on a faster horse. And look at how Kaushik has taken away the ball from the group. Kaushik once again. And the ball taking a deflection. Kaushik strikes with the first bell. Eight goals to four. Dawn Cox this time promotes the ball to the center line. Caroline strikes and the ball goes over and out of play. Play call. Kaushik with the ball. Chance here for the Indian team to increase their lead. This is Caroline Wissers. Caroline backs the ball beautifully and... There was an opportunity for Dawn, but the ball took a bounce. And that is the second and final bell that marks the end of Chakra number two. With the scoreboard now reading eight goals to four. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the scoreboard now reads eight goals to four. The Indian team still very much in the lead. For the third and final Chakra of the second semi-final. Ball in play. The scoreboard reads eight goals to four in favor of the Indian team. Once again, the teams have changed ends. And this is Yusuf who strikes, gives a lovely pass to Kaushik Kumar. Kaushik is off and this time the Indian team is attacking towards the northern end. It is Kaushik. Oh, the ball takes a deflection from under the pony of Elizabeth Peck. And it is Dawn Cox who picks up the ball. Dawn. Dawn being marked by Kaushik. Kaushik takes the ball away from Dawn. Once again, Kaushik Kumar. A young player who's maintained his level of fitness over the last so many years. You're seeing the result of that in the number of goals he has scored for his side. This is Kaushik Kumar once again having a tussle with Dawn Cox. And there comes Yusuf Azmi who takes the ball away. Players are turning around. You know, it looks really easy when your horse is turning around. But it's so tough to maintain balance and stay focused on the ball. Caroline Wissers hooked there. If a player is following the line of the ball, the direction in which the ball is moving and another player comes in the way, causes an obstruction, then there is a danger of collision. And so, that situation will lead to a foul. This is Don Cox who strikes the ball, but Yusuf is there. Yusuf asks me in defense for the Indian team. Don has a chance. Don takes the ball forward. It is Don who scores goal number five for the US team. Kaushik Kumar strikes. Another one this time. Yusuf Asmi right in front of the goal. But he just misses the mark. Yusuf still has a chance there. Right in front of the goal. So is Elizabeth. And the ball takes a little deflection. It is Kaushik who strikes. This time it's a penalty in favor of the US team. 
Is there a line across the field? Yes, there is. An imaginary line. This is Don Cox who strikes. But the ball goes a little wide and play restarts. Nice long hit by Yusuf Azmi straight down the center line. Chance here for Mirza. Elizabeth trying to take the ball away. Elizabeth saves the moment for the US team. It is Elizabeth. Elizabeth Peck. Yusuf strikes. The ball takes a different angle and bounces off the field. This is a hit now for the US team. It's Caroline who strikes and gives a lovely pass to Dawn. Dawn being marked there by Kaushik Kumar. Kaushik not making life easy for his opponents. It's Kaushik who picks up the ball once again, taking it away from the danger zone. It is Kaushik now in attack for the Indian team. It's Kaushik Kumar all the way. Being marked there by Dr. Elizabeth Peck. Still moving in the right direction. Kaushik strikes and scores. Kaushik Kumar. Kaushik. It's Kaushik in possession for the Indian team. The ball takes a little deflection. Kaushik trying to take the ball away, but it's Dawn. Dawn now being marked by Yusuf Azmi. Yusuf. Yusuf picks up the ball. And there's a chance there for Yusuf, but he gets a bump from Caroline Visser. Some hard riding by Caroline. Caroline now in attack for the US team. It's Caroline steadying up her horse. Caroline. Oh, what a lovely strike by Caroline. Unfortunately, just missing out by a few inches. The ball lying right there. And it is Mirza. Mirza staves the moment for the Indian team. Yusuf in the corner. Yusuf strikes. The ball crosses the center line. It's right in front of Elizabeth. Elizabeth taking the ball towards the wall. It's still Elizabeth in possession. Strikes, but doesn't get clear space and the ball still lying there. Kaushik hooking Caroline. Kaushik Kumar. Kaushik taps. Caroline Vissers is there. It's still Kaushik on the ball for the Indian team. Kaushik now moves around. One minute of play left in this third and final chakra. Caroline strikes to defend a backhander from Mirza and the ball is still away. Caroline strikes, takes the ball away from the danger zone. It's still Caroline Vissers for the US team being marked by Salim Azmi. Look at that hard riding going on between these two players. A whistle before Kaushik struck the ball. Penalty in favor of the US team trailing by five goals to 12 at this stage of the game with just about 40 seconds of play left. Caroline Wissers strikes and scores goal number six for the US team. And that is the first bell. Nice long strike there by Yusuf Azmi. Mirza approaching the ball. Mirza trying to add to the tally of the Indian team. It is Elizabeth Peck and Caroline also working hard. And we have Kaushik Kumar taking the ball from right in front of Caroline Wissers. Play call. The ball picked up by Caroline Wissers. Caroline strikes and scores goal number seven. Scoring a goal with flourish there. Caroline Wissers gets lucky seven on the board. And that is the final bell to mark the end of the semi-final match. HPRC India 2 beating USA 2. 12 goals to 7. Um, I am with the Shabazz and uh, Mr. Kaushik. Both played very well. Kaushik, I believe uh, he have done four goals and uh, Shabazz Ahmed is also play. Uh, very nice and played three goals, I believe. Mr. Faisal Beck uh, and then Mr. Yusuf Adme. and Mr. Yusuf Admi, they drop uh, the first uh, chakar, one of the person and then one of the player and uh, they are uh, um, here with me and they they are celebrating the, uh, you know, the semi-final, reaching the semi-finals to finals. And uh, this is the time um, he, they are celebrating tonight uh, for the winning against uh, uh, USA. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about uh, the yeah, match. How today, the today we played uh, against USA team two. Uh, me, Shabazz and Yusuf Azmi, Mr. Ka uh, Kaushik uh, and uh, Faisal, we four of uh, the players played uh, from HPRC India two team. 
and we came here and we won uh, semi-finals. Tomorrow we are play, going to play finals. It was very tough, but we scored and we did it. This is a high voltage drama today. There was a lot of spectators, almost 1,000, more than 1,000 uh, spectators, and uh, the Kaushik. Uh, uh, here with me and he will be telling about the match, uh, how intense uh, was the match was. We had a great game and a great atmosphere here. The horses went well and the whole team was in sync. So we really had a great fun and hope we win tomorrow. Let's put our 100% and let's see. The US team is a mixed team and uh, this is uh, uh, the match uh, where we are looking forward to win this uh, championship. And uh, one thing I would like to add, uh, uh, that man behind this show, man behind this tournament, man behind this HPRC is Mr. Chaitanya Kumar. He is the president of the club and because of him, uh, the players of Hyderabad are going to uh, play uh, international polo tournament. We are getting the international exposure because of Mr. Chaitanya Kumar. Thanks to Chaitanya and team. Thank you so much. We have a very fantastic game today. It was a high intense game, high voltage drama. A lot of specters were there. They are favoring the um, uh, Indian team. Thank you so much.